गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रमन गुप्ता फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज बारा एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल स्टडी द प्री रोमेंटिसिज्म और प्री रोमेंटिक पीरियड इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस पीरियड इज बिफोर द पीरियड ऑफ रोमेंटिसिज्म its duration is before the period of romanticism so let's start pre romanticism cultural movement in europe up from about the 1740s onward that preceded and presaged <coughs> the artistic movement known as romanticism chief among these trends was a shift in public taste away from the grandeur austerity nobility idealization and elevated sentiments of neoclassicism or classicism toward simpler more sincere and more natural forms of expression so it was a shift after the neoclassicism it was a shift of trend from austerity nobility idealization to sincere simpler and natural forms of expression this new emphasis partly reflected the taste of the growing middle class who found the refined and elegant art forms patronized by our aristocratic society to be artificial and overly sophisticated the bureau gsc favored more realistic artistic vehicles that were more emotionally accessible a major intellectual precursor of romanticism was the french philosopher and writer jean jacques rousseau he was a french philosopher and writer the intellectual precursor or forerunner of romanticism he emphasized the free expression of emotion rather than polite restraint in friendship and love repudiated our aristocratic elegance and recognized the virtues of middle class domestic life and helped open the public's eyes to the beauties of nature so this was a shift from aristocratic subject to the middle class subjects as a shift towards nature to see the beauty of nature rousseau introduced the cult of religious sentiment among people who had discarded religious dogma and he inculcated the belief that moral development was fostered by experiencing powerful sympathies he also introduced the idea that the free expression of the creative spirit is more important than strict adherence to formal rules and traditional procedures so according to this trend creative spirit the expression of creative spirit is more important to express than to strict with some uh, formal rules or abide by some formal rules or traditional procedures 
the new emphasis on genuine emotion can be seen in a whole range of pre-romantic trends these included the development of the wild natural appearing english garden in contrast to the geometric vistas of the french formal garden the graveyard school of english poetry of the 1740s with edward youngs and thomas gray's melancholy evocations of sorrow bereavement death and decay so this was the graveyard school of english poetry it began with that in 1740s and uh, thomas gray's melancholy poems melancholic poems we have read uh, elegy written in a country churchyard we have read hmm? in the last year in second uh, part ba part 2 we have read thomas gray's elegy written in a country churchyard Samuel Richardson's Pamela very famous work of Samuel Richardson 1740 and other sentimental novels that exploited the reader's capacity for tenderness and compassion the novel of sensibility of the 1760s with its emphasis on emotional sensitivity and deeply felt personal responses to natural beauty and works of art the strum the sturm and drang movement in germany in 1770 from 1770 1780 in which jw1 goethe and frederick schiller rejected in their plays the conventions of french neoclassical tragedy and instead exalted nature feeling and human individualism the english gothic novel of terror fantasy and mystery as practiced by horace walpole in the castle of otranto 1765 and by n radcliffe and matthew gregory lewis in several works and finally the ambitious efforts to collect and preserve folk tales and ballads of all types by the 1790s pre romanticism had been supplanted by romanticism proper so this is uh, a brief description of uh, pre romantic era in the next video we'll study some different characteristics of this uh, period so study it well and uh, you can ask your problems you can clear your doubts with me through questionnaire or in the comment box okay thank you and have a nice day